二零二二年第三十、第三十一條咧，係有關於以下嘅探究嘅。咁整個探究呢，我哋睇返第一幅圖咯，就係、是、想去研究一下呢個大葉嘅枝條啦，喺唔同嘅環境情況底下，佢嘅蒸騰速率呢係幾高嘅。咁由每一個裝置呢，我哋都俾佢三個鐘呢去進行呢個實驗啦。然啦，去到表格二呢，就係、是、顯示返啦，喺呢個實驗當中嘅水面嘅平面嘅位置。佢嘅最當初同埋終極嘅位置啦，咁當然其實要睇嘅咧都係呢個氣泡嘅啫。今日入題目之前咧都講一講呢個裝置咧點樣運作啦。首先啦，大葉枝條當然係會有呢個失水啦，而失水嘅時候啦就會產生一個蒸騰牽引力喺木質導管咧繼續吸水上去嘅，咁所以咧就會去到微細管啦都會繼續吸啦。咁我哋就係觀察下呢個氣泡啦，佢嘅初次位置就會去到邊一個終極位置啦。咁而家呢，我哋就睇下題目咯喎，佢就問返啦，邊一個裝置呢？嗰、那個大葉枝條係有最高嘅蒸騰作用嘅速率喎。咁你見得到啦，我哋呢就四個唔同嘅裝置啦，佢哋呢分別都有唔同嘅環境嘅因素嘅，低光度、低濕度、低光度就高濕度之如此類啦。咁當中呢，亦都有初次嘅數據啦，亦都有終極數據啦。所以呢個題目咧係較為技術導向嘅，就係、是、考翻我哋傳視技能啦。第一個咧就係、是、考計數。首先咧，我哋要識得計翻呢個氣泡或者呢個水平面咧，佢嘅喐動啊，就係、是、用翻啦初次嘅數據減翻終極嘅數據，因為永遠係大減細啊嘛，就知道個氣泡喐咗幾長嘅距離啦。咁今次的題目咧就係、是、問距離啫，你只要計埋個速率咧。都冇問題嘅，咁今次呢，我就唔計晒全部，我教咗你點計先，你可以自己計返嘅。今次實驗時間係三小時，所以啦，當我哋要計返個氣泡行嘅速率或者蒸騰嘅速率，我哋可以點樣計呢？首先啦，我哋用返裝置一啦，十四減七點四，就係佢喐咗嘅距離就係六點六 cm 啦。跟住啦，再除返三小時，因為佢實驗做咗三個鐘啊嘛。咁所以啦，得出咧就係二點二 cm per hour 啦，每個鐘行咗二點二 cm 嘅。咁呢個咧就係呢個氣泡移動嘅速率啦。只要啦有多一個數據，就係呢條微細管嘅環切面面積咧，咁我哋就可以計到咧嗰個體積嘅啦。咁今次微細管嘅環切面面積係零點五 cm 嘅，咁啊將呢個二點二再乘零點五。嘅 cm square 咧，就係、是、究竟有幾多水咧，係吸收誒？究竟啦，有幾多水咧，係吸收過啦？就係一點一嘅 cm cube per hour 啦。或者睇翻呢條長題目嘅解説啦，去温一温書咯喎。咁啊，因為大家都知道啦，氣泡蒸騰計究竟佢係咪真係計算緊一個植物嘅蒸騰速率咧？其實就唔係噶嘛。啊！佢係計緊一個吸水嘅速率嚟嘅，咁佢點樣做轉化呢？咁啊睇返段片溫書咯喎。咁而家啦點樣都好，我計咗，我計咗個氣泡行嘅速率先啦。六點六、二點五、九點四、三點四，咁啊純粹大減細就已經計好啦。計完之後啦，條題目就考第二樣嘢啦，就係、是、傳視技能，就係、是、做比較啦。咁啊考返我哋啦，有關於對氣泡蒸騰計嘅理解啦，就係、是、當個氣泡行得越快嘅時候呢，其實個蒸騰速率呢。系越高嘅，所以呢条题目啦，非常之直接嘅，都有九成几嘅同学咧系答啱嘅，就系 C 啦。咁喺呢个装置咧，个气泡足足行咗九点四 cm。Question thirty three and thirty one refer to the investigation. Diagram one shows the setup for measuring the transpiration rate of a leafy shoot under different environmental conditions. So you can see the diagram from here. And for each treatment, the experiment was conducted for three hours. And for table two. It shows the initial and final readings of the water level in different treatments. So you can see the initial reading, final reading. And before we enter the question, so let's take a look at the whole setup. What is the mechanism of this setup? First of all, you can see that the leafy shoots must experience the water loss transpiration, and then there will be a transpiration pool in the xylem vessel, and then absorb the water, pull the water upwards, and then we can measure the position of the air bubble from this position. And go upward to the final position. Okay, so let's take a look at the question. In which treatment does the leafy shoot have the highest transpiration rate? So this question it shows us two skills. First skills is the calculation. We need to calculate the movement of the air bubbles. Initial reading minus the final reading. We get a certain distance, certain length in cm. And then if we would like to calculate the rate of the air bubble movement, we need to divide the time factor. 
In this question, the experiment was conducted for three hours. So for the example treatment one, the movement of the air bubbles is that from 14 to 7.4. So we have this distance already, 6.6. .6. And then if we would like to calculate the rate of the air bubble, we need to divide it by three, divided by three. So the rate of the air bubble movement will be 2.2 cm per hour. What if you would like to calculate the volume of the water being uptake, absorbed. So you need one more factor about the cross-section area of the capillary tube. Or let's say 0 0.5 cm square. So that means you have 2.2 times 0 0.5 cm square and it will become 1.1 cm cube per hour. So it means that per hour, the leafy sheet will absorb 1.1 cm cube water. So that's the logic of the bubble photometer. Because we learned that the bubble photometer actually is not really measuring the rate of transpiration rate. Because we can recall the concept that the bubble photometer is not really measuring the rate of transpiration. It's measuring the rate of water absorption, water uptake. So let's watch the video for revision first. And then after we do the calculation, we have 6.6, 2.5, 9.4, .4, and 3.4 cm, the movement of the air bubbles. And the next skills being checked is the comparison. So we need to recall the mechanism of the air bubble photometer. And we know that the faster the movement of the air bubble, the higher the transpiration rate is. Therefore, it is a very straightforward question. 91% student got it correct and the answer is C because there was 9.4 cm movement by the air bubble.